take some multigrain bread pieces two whole eggs some broccoli and one carrot chopped into fine pieces keep them aside now place the pan on the stove and set the temperature levels to high once the pan is nice and hot reduce the flame add about 2 to 3 spoons of oil you can use oil of your choice now for about a minute or two add all the chopped vegetables to the pan now give in the crackling sound right then you can confirm that pan is nice and hot and it will be perfect for roasting vegetables anything as well for me it's so comforting that by hearing the sizzling sound and all it's very soothing Let me know in the comments if you find that sizzling sound comforting to you as well. Now toss them and roast them on a high flame. Now place another pan. after the pan is nice and hot put the uh, bread pieces on to the pan now add salt pepper About a half spoon. Now add about a one fourth spoon of salt. You can use other seasonings as well. It's your choice. Now toast them on a high flame to get that nice smoky chart flavor to it. After some time, flip the bread pieces. Don't leave them too long on each side because they get burnt easily. Now you can check the burn mark on those edges. Flip the bread pieces halfway through while they are cooking. Now after roasting the vegetables, transfer them to a plate. In the meanwhile, again flip the bread pieces. these bits are roasted on a medium flame so that they get nice crackling sound to it you can hear it as well now to the same pan add the two eggs don't add any oil because the oil from the cooked vegetables is more than enough Now add some pepper, about a one fourth spoon, and some salt as well. You can use chili powder and other seasonings as well. Now scramble them on a medium flame.
you can see that it's not st starting to set quickly still it's liquidy and runny now after a minute once the egg is scrambled don't scramble it until it is too hard now turn off the flame and transfer the scrambled egg onto a plate now once the bread is toasted completely on both sides hands for them to the serving plate now i took some greek yogurt you can take anything as well like mayonnaise etc take about two spoons of greek yogurt add some salt and chili powder to get that nice color to it greek yogurt is all about that sour and bittery taste and probiotic nature as well you can use cottage cheese and paneer as well now take about half spoon to of the mixed greek yogurt and put it on the roasted bread slices once it is evenly spread plate it nicely and here you go the final dish the lazy lunch because it's easy to make when you are lazy